So let's talk about starting to build our coil pot. I, I need to learn how to roll some coils or teach you how to roll some coils. Um, a couple things I've got here. I've got my black project board. I've got a piece of plastic I'm gonna store uh, this on. That just makes it so I can kind of easily turn this as I'm building my pot. Now let's talk about the logistics, the logistics of rolling a coil. Uh, I've got my good clay here. I'm gonna take a pinch off of this and I'm just gonna talk you through rolling out a coil. So number one, we talked about plastic clay. Clay needs to be nice and soft and flexible. So uh, if it's not, we're gonna have issues. So this clay is good and I've got it kind of started. And my goal here is this. I talked to you about this in class. My fingers are spring loaded my palm and I can push really hard with. I can't push as hard with just my uh, my fingers. So I wanna make sure that as I'm rolling this out, I'm really just using my fingers. So I'm using both hands and it's not just about smashing it to roll a coil. I'm really trying to stretch it out. So I'm gonna roll this and I'm gonna start by just kinda of back and forth where it's a little bit thicker and you'll see my fingers start going like this and I'm stretching it out as I'm rolling. So again, I'm not really concentrated on just pushing down, I'm also pushing out at an angle. And I'm really being very gentle with it. I'm not pushing really, really hard. If I push really hard, I'm gonna get what I call a flat tire. So I'll roll this one out the way I would like it to be. And then, um, again, I don't always get them all perfect. Um, I make mistakes too, but what I'm looking for is a coil that is a little bit less than a half an inch. Again, that's kind of a common theme as we're rolling these out. As we blend them together, they'll thin out a little bit as we build our walls and stuff. But so I wanna start with them a little bit thicker. So there's my coil. You can see it's generally the same thickness all over. Now, common things that happen with a coil as you're rolling. You may get this little dent in there, not a big deal. You may get this kind of hollow end on it. That is a big deal. We don't want any air in our coils because that means that uh, that trapped air will heat up and make our pot explode. So I just cut that off, no biggie. So sometimes we'll end up having to chop off a little bit of that. So again, what my goal is, is a coil that is about a half an inch. So about like that, pretty even all over. The nicer your coils are, the nicer your pot is gonna be. So it's worth spending some time and, and don't get frustrated. Um, this is, uh, you know, in some cases you'll say, well, that coil is not quite right and I'm gonna wad it up because it's not worthy of my pot. And especially at the beginning as you're practicing. So this one, I would, because it's pretty even from one side to the other, it's about the right thickness. Uh, it's not cracking anywhere, so that's good. Uh, sometimes if you roll too long, you'll notice it start to crack. That's an issue. So we don't want that, but we do, uh, I think this will be an okay coil. Um, so I would use that one.